Good. So here we are. Uh, I have been equipped for the sake of demonstration purposes with a fantastic dead orbit warlock uh, wearing some new armor. And uh, we're going to take a look at the entire spring line. And in order to help me accomplish that, I have a fabulous fire team <laughs> in the form of you two jokers. So in the role of our new monarchy titan, we have Keith. That's me. So Keith Bachman will be our titan for today. And uh, you are all aglow in some ways that we will talk about. And uh, Brenton, you're also looking fancy as a future war cult hunter. And oh, yeah. uh, I see this, this golden yellow glow that's coming off of your armor. So we have a lot to show off today. We have a lot to talk about. We have some new ways to customize our guardians. So uh, let's do that. Uh, you know what, before we do that, <clears throat> I want to keep a promise. Uh, so you can see I have icons here that are beckoning me to come and check out some of the different vendors in the reef. Uh, we made a promise last week that uh, we would see what's on the Postmaster. But uh, before we do that, because today is all about checking out the fashions and checking out the, uh, the character art that we've created in the game, I'm going to invoke my settings menu. And just to uh, let us focus on the things that are on the screen, I'm going to come down to accessibility. And uh, if there is a Fran Mirabella in the audience of IGN's Fireteam chat, I'm absolutely sure that I want to deactivate my HUD. This is something we talked about when uh, I was on their couch in Germany for Gamescom. And as you can see, my HUD has been disabled. Uh, if we were out in the wild, I would have no aiming reticle. I would have no uh, weapon or armor icons. And uh, here I have no prompts to go and check out the vendors. So it's just us and the art and the world of the game. Of course, the user interface provides you with some important information. So you can take that and you can make it uh, a little bit more transparent. So if you're working with uh, a plasma TV or if you're working with uh, you know, a device that is prone to burn in, you can minimize the risk there. Uh, and in this case, if you're a content creator and you love to take screenshots or you love to make your own videos, uh, we can give you a, a slightly more cinematic experience to enable that. So thanks so much to uh, the user interface team. I think it was Andrew Davis yep. who did some work on that. That it was. So uh, yeah, many, many pats to, many uh, backs to pat if you want to do that. And uh, as we make our way through the reef, uh, talk to me about some of the different uh, other world out changes that were made. This jumps out at me, first of all. We brought the uh, abandoned quest kiosk to mm -hmm. the reef and uh, integrated it with the environment so you don't have to go all the way back to the tower anymore to pick up something you forgot. Cool, okay. And uh, this system, as you can see, is going to remind me that my HUD has been disabled every time I come out of my inventory menu. So don't panic and bear with us because you'll see that a few times. That's just, you know, in case I forget that I've done that and I come back and I'm like, oh my God, where's my guns? Why, where's my ammo? But I digress. So uh, let's come down this way. And uh, we're going to put on a fashion show. So this will be our runway for today, bathed in the beautiful light of the reef. And uh, we've got a lot of different uh, armor to debut. And uh, so you guys are going to give me a good sense of what the inspirations were for the different ways in which guardians are going to become unique and more powerful, like special snowflakes that can kick your ass. Mm. And uh, I guess she's going to help us judge the fashion show or yes. she's just going to walk away. Yeah, we're conducting some official business here. So if you could just go about your way, clear the set, because we are going to welcome three guardians and they're going to come out of uh, Zur's secret hideout. And the first thing we're going to take a look at is the heliopause line for dead orbit. So please, Join us on the runway and show us what you got. There you go. Brand new for spring is new armor, courtesy of Dead Orbit. So I can see that uh, each one of these guardians has a special glow. Uh, the warlock is bathed in this beautiful blue light. <laughs> no, I do not want to wrestle right now. Thank you so much. And then we've got, that's extremely rude. That's, uh, the hunters are always kind of yeah. arrogant, yeah. you know, it's that, it's that roguish sensibility. And then we've got, uh, last but certainly not least, the Titan, who doesn't want my dreams to be dreams. So talk to me about the fact that uh, we've got this red glow, the yellow glow, and the blue glow. What's at work there? So this is the, this is the new Chroma system. Mm -hmm. 
Um, it's uh, it's from our golden age technology. It's a new a new system in the world that lets our guardians further customize themselves. Uh, mm -hmm. What it is is it's uh, per armor piece. Okay. And we have four colors that will go into it, and these colors um, are going to be there irregardless of what shader you put on your, your Guardian. Okay, cool. Uh, all right, Guardians, thank you so much. You're looking fabulous. Go ahead, and up next, we're going to take a look at the new Monarchy line. So you said that uh, the, chroma, the, the chroma selections that we make are per armor piece. So yes. the Guardians that we were just looking at were unified. Mm -hmm. you know, the, the Warlock glowed blue on every armor piece, but you can change that out. You all can, personal choice. All personal choice. So I can have yep. red gauntlets, I can have you know, a blue helmet, I can have a white chest piece. Absolutely. What are all the colors that we've added? We have white, yellow, blue, and red. All right. Very good. Mm -hmm. All right. So uh, we'll keep the uh, fashion show rolling here. Uh, up next, let's show what we have for New Monarchy. Looking good, looking good. So uh, here's our warlock. <laughs> Awkwardly dancing at the Christmas party. Here's our hunter. And here is our titan. Whoa, whoa, let me get out of the way of that. And nice kick. So looking mean, looking fancy. And thank you so much. Up next, we're going to take a look at the infinite fashionability of future War Cult. So with the chroma colors, we really yep. wanted to give everyone an ability to express themselves. So mm -hmm. we went with a neutral color. And okay. then we went around the color wheel so that we could everyone give everyone a very diverse range of emotions and feelings mm -hmm. and customization to their characters. So I see here that you have uh, selected white chroma mm. to complement your new monarchy titan. Uh, and when we uh, think about New Monarchy, all of their shaders are red. So if someone's a die-hard New Monarchy fan and they want to wear a red shader, <coughs> pardon me, on their outfit, but they're using white chroma, what happens? Uh, the chroma, the chroma stays there. It's actually two different customization systems. Okay. So once you apply a chroma to an armor piece, uh, irregardless of what shader you put on the entire character, the those two systems are independent. So the shader will will continue to change the armor, but the chroma will stay there. Okay. And uh, Brenton, we're going to hear uh, from you all about how we acquire these things and how we manage these systems. Yep. Uh, but before we do that, uh, we still have some new uh, armor to take a look at. So I believe Future War Cult is up next. So Guardians, come on out and strike a pose. <clears throat> Here we go. The martial fabulousness of New Monarchy. Here we go. The Hunter bathed in red. Mind, well, what is that? What, that was the, I don't know. I don't know. And uh, we've got our Titan mm -hmm. <laughs> going, doing some clubbing. Yeah, so the, the, the gear really does pop. You can see these accents, you know, and, and from far away, I don't know if you'd want to use this in the Crucible because it's like, here I am, but uh, certainly in the tower and, uh, you know, out in the world when you're enjoying a raid with your friends. You can dress yourself up in these signal flares. Not confirmed. Good stuff. Please restate. Okay, up next, we're going to take a look at the Desolute line. Uh, so, guys, when we first uh, unveiled the uh, April update content, you know, the first screenshots that we shared, you know, and when we started teasing the fact that we were going to put on these shows, uh, we did show what looked like Taken Guardians. Mm -hmm. yep. And uh, the instant assumption was that there was a Taken Shader. Taken shader, taken shader, taken shader was what we saw, you know, on uh, all the forums and on Twitter. Uh, but the Desolute line of armor is actually, as I just said, a line of armor where you have to put that look together using all the different pieces. Yes. Yeah. Yep. It's much more of a, a collectible system. Yeah. Um, so we really wanted to to really hit the taken look so what we did is we went through and we made it. We needed to make it armor. Yep. And the nice thing about it, it's collectible. Um, Let's so, bring it out. Let's bring out the Desolute line. Go ahead. I'm sorry. So it's a it's collection system. Yes. This is. Uh, there they are. Oh yeah. Confirmed. You can just see that evil taken energy boiling from the top of their heads. Yep. 
Here's our Titan. <clears throat> and they've accessorized with one of our new strike uniques on the back there. So there's uh, taken effect weapons as well. They look like taken weapons, but they operate like human weapons. Mm -hmm. yep. and, where, and they can get that from a strike? From the new Winter's Run. Ah, uh, okay. Okay, strike. cool. And uh, do, we have, uh, do we have the emote that goes along with this armor set? Yeah, so when you finish collecting the set... Oh my, look at them. <laughs> you unlock yeah. the Taken Jitter emote. Awesome. Please try again. All right, thank you very much, Guardians. Uh, the uh, final line that we'll look at is the new Spectar line of armor, which is uh, designed with the Chroma system in mind. It's uh, brand new for this April update. Yeah. That's right. This is uh, never-before-seen armor. It's a new release. And we, uh, we integrated the Chroma system with this set of armor first. All right. Well, Guardians, if you're ready, <clears throat> come on out. And we'll take a look at the Spectre line, brand new for spring. They're still getting. I think they're still getting dressed. Mm -hmm. I'll give them. I'll give them just a moment. Give them some privacy. Yeah, this is just. This is the fashion life, man. There we go, and there they are. Oh, this is. This is. This is what I'm looking forward to. Check out that warlock. Okay. All right. There we go. I'm not worthy of that. On your feet. We're both warlocks, after all. Check that out. That's exactly what I'm looking for. Is that robe right there? But uh, you look nice, also, Hunter. God, everyone's so reverential all of a sudden. And then uh, the Titan, those uh, nice rounded lines. It's nice and organic. Mind blown. Show us the mind blown one more time. Mind blown! Uh, so talk to us about the inspirations here. I'm uh, starting off with the Hunter. Mm -hmm. It's a cold weather set of gear. Mm -hmm. As you can see, we've got a nice quilted cape, fringe around it, and it's... Uh, it's all for the cold weather with mm -hmm. the Titan, as opposed to my set. It's much more uh, organic and rounded, mm -hmm. but still being a full plated system. Yep. And with the Warlock, we went for large graphical shapes and a streamlined look. Cool. All right, Guardians. You all look absolutely fantastic. Uh, we look forward to seeing these fashions on display in the tower and out in the wild. Uh, thank you so much for participating in the stream today, and uh, let's go back upstairs. <laughs>